This conference now, County Recorder's Office, uh, some issues we told you about with tabulation machines, and they're speaking about it now. Let's listen. The voting after 7 p.m., when everything is completed, then these ballots will be taken out securely and delivered by a bipartisan team, so Republican and Democrat, down to here at the Central Tabulation Center, where they will be tabulated. And while this is obviously not how the system was designed, this is a fail-safe that functions the exact same way as early voting, which you know we have been going through for the past 26 days. So in early voting, a ballot comes back in its envelope. Once we barcode scanned that and signature verified it, then we take it into our tabulation center. In much the same way, ballots that are deposited in drawer three here will be brought to our central facility. They won't need to be central. They won't need to be signature verified. They won't need to be barcode scanned. And so they will just be fed directly into the tabulators tonight. Now, this is the same model that the majority of other counties use. Maricopa County has implemented this tabulate at the precincts system for some time, and the majority of voting locations still afford that. But for those that do not have that option, it can go into drawer three. Thank you, Stephen. And with that, we're happy to take any questions. People say uh, being told to leave the ballot with someone, don't worry about it. Is that safe? Is, is that what they should be being told to do? If they have a ballot, what do they do if their tabulator is not working? Yes, yeah, so once they have checked in, they voted that ballot, if for some reason it's not going through the tabulator, we're asking them to put it into door three. That is the secure process that we have in place. And like Stephen just said, that's how the majority of counties in Arizona handle it. Is it 20 or 20 percent? We have about 20 percent. Uh, so those those numbers have shifted a so little about 40 bit. Vote centers, then. Somewhere correct? around there. Yeah. 40 vote yeah. Centers, about 20 percent. I know people are going to say, okay. Shouldn't this have, have all been perfect? So walk me through the testing on this and I guess what happened. So again, yeah, we, we test these machines. That's part of the process. We go through it for every election. And uh, in this particular instance, this is something, you know, we didn't anticipate, like Stephen said, but we have the redundancies in place. And it's also important for people to know that we've got techs out there. They're doing what they can to get these back online. But remember, it isn't like every, it's not like both of the tabulators in this 20% of locations are having these issues. It may only be one. Again, it may be one out of five, two out of five. So the key for everyone to understand is everyone is still getting to vote. No one is being disenfranchised, and we've got redundancies in place. Are these tabulators widespread? Is this one specific area? Are you finding it? They're, all they're not. They're not in one particular area of the county. They're dispersed. How would you have folks online saying, "Don't push the green button if you put your ballot in the box. Don't put it in box three. What do you say to these people? Again, this is there. There are two options. One is feeding it through the tabulator. That's how people choose to do it. If that's not working, then we're asking for them to put it into, into door three. This is secure, and it's going to be brought down here by a bipartisan board, so a Republican and a Democrat, and it will be counted here this evening so that that vote that goes into number three will be reported either tonight or early in the morning. And what is this green button that they're referencing? They're saying, don't push the green button if your ballot is not read correctly. Can you clear that up for folks that may be confused? Yeah, so this this is the the, the cast button there. Again, that's um, we're we're not asking for the people to do that. That that relates to if you overvote a contest. So for instance, on the judicial retention elections, if you voted both yes and no, the ballot the machine would say, that's an overvote. Do you want to override that, or do you want your ballot to be spit at, back out such that you can correct that? Um, the voter has the option to press the green button and override that, but that does not relate to the current issue that we're addressing. How are you communicating to co-workers on site to make sure that they are communicating effectively to all of the folks that are in line and are having concerns about how this is yeah, so that, that's, we've, we've got a team here that's making sure that that's being communicated out to the poll workers. We have troubleshooters who are out there who are participating in it. So we have a, you know, communication coming out of this center to make sure that they're getting the same message out there across all of our 223 vote locations. You spent much of the last two years trying to convince mm -hmm. the people here in Maricopa County that the election, you know, 2020 was valued, that your systems okay. in place are secure. How worried are you that hour and a half into today, you already have these real issues 
that could be manipulated or you know turned into reasons for people to once again not trust the system? I think we're very concerned about that, and that's why we have this convening right now, and that's why we're trying to put out this message right now that it is going to look in some of these voting locations like the other. Arizona counties. Um, obviously, it's disappointing, and yes, uh, undoubtedly, some people will exploit it for that purpose. We will continue to do what we've done the last two years, which is just offer correct information, offer accurate information. We have the techs out there, and they're working on it, but how long do we expect this problem to last? Not, not sure at this point. Again, we're addressing it, uh, and we'll get those up as soon as possible. But again, no one is being disenfranchised. That is the important thing. And none of this indicates any fraud or, or anything of that sort. This is a technical issue, and we have a redundancy for it, and we're utilizing it. Is it the same issue happening at every polling center, or is it different issues across the board? Yes, the same issue. And have you been able to remedy it at any of those centers? We have been able to remedy it at, at some centers. Again, we have we are absolutely laser focused on this uh, to do what we can to get these addressed. But again. People, if they, I um, also want to talk about the lines that are out there, okay? We're, we're finding that this is not something that's generating a bunch of long lines out there. I think the longest wait may be 30 or 40 minutes, which again, in a, in a big election like this, a lot of attention. Those are, those are very, you know, uh, short lines. And again, we encourage people to go to locations.maricopa.vote to see what the status is on those lines and where the shortest lines are nearest to them. And so that is something that the techs are trying to determine. If I tried to explain it, I, I, my name is Bill Gates, but I don't, I don't think that would go over well. Stephen, are you guys done with this? Anybody have any questions? If I, if I grab one of you for an interview? Yeah. So you want to put some more questions? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Has someone yeah. like this happened in previous elections? Well, I, I mean, I, I don't. All right, so we're going to start the 9 o'clock hour here, but let me go ahead and, and synop, uh, make a synopsis here. It looks like about 20% of the actual tabulating machines at polling places around the county are having some sort of malfunction. Yes. They don't know exactly why. So they're not counting the ballots at the polling places like they planned, but what they're saying here is you can take your ballot at that polling place and yes. put it into somewhere. Mm -hmm. It will not have to be verified by a signature or anything else like a, an absentee ballot, and it will be counted tonight uh, once the polls close. So I, it, it's a big question, though, why 20% of your machines are going down. Right. That seems like a lot, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does.